Hi there folks, my name is Damien Bard and in today's demonstration we're going to talk about the Model Context Protocol or MCP which is often described as the USB for agents. I've got two different demonstrations for you today, the first of which is showing you how to use a knowledge source with MCP, the second, the one you can currently see on screen, is building an agent in Copilot Studio that can create records in Dataverse using natural language. And how about that? I've just gone and created a new Lego set record in my Dataverse table. Anyway, if this interests you, make sure that you like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's jump into the demonstration. So to get things started, I'm over on a page that I've built that will enable me to showcase the stages of a query that's sent to MCP and then further summarized using a large language model like ChatGPT. So when I ask a question in the browser here, how do I set up SharePoint as a knowledge source? I've already set up the Microsoft Learn MCP server. And when I ask the agent, you'll see my user query getting sent across to the Microsoft Learn MCP server, which then gets sent across to a large language model, which then enables us to summarize the data that's been retrieved from that MCP server using the large language model. So it's nice and friendly for our end user. Now today's session is all about what is an MCP server and we have two examples. I have the Microsoft Learn one which is actually retrieving data based on a natural language question. So when I ask the question how do I set up SharePoint that's actually being sent to a tool called Microsoft Doc Search and you can see the query there as part of the parameters. Now in return I get all this lovely markdown including the various links to pages referencing how to add knowledge to a SharePoint. And that's ultimately what's happening behind the scenes whenever you use either RAG when you're adding in SharePoint as a data source, or in this case, the MCP server for Microsoft Learn, which has a semantic understanding using an advanced vector search. So unlike adding the Microsoft Learn site as a knowledge source by using this MCP server, which has been built specifically to retrieve relevant documentation about Microsoft Learn, we have the equivalent of a RAG tool that will search the Microsoft documentation as it's published. This is instead of using Bing as a search engine or an indexer for the Microsoft Learn materials and is a great example of an MCP server. Now we can see we have an MCP endpoint. In order for us to bring that into our agent, we actually need to build a custom connector. And I'll show you that in the video later on as we bring that into our agent in Copilot Studio. The other type of MCP that I want to demonstrate today is a Dataverse MCP server. Now that Dataverse MCP server has a number of different tools. So unlike the MCP server for Learn, where we had one tool to search documentation, this particular one allows us to list tables, describe tables, read a query, create a record, update a record. And that's exactly what I'd like to do today is to show you how we can create records, update records, all using the MCP server and hopefully demonstrate to you why MCP is a standard is such a great thing for us to have across agents, no matter what agent platform we're using. But of course, it's brilliant that it's supported in Copilot Studio. So if we jump across onto Copilot Studio, I've built a Microsoft Learn agent. And at the moment, as we can see with the knowledge, it's actually using the website. Now I'm going to turn this off and we'll use the MCP server, but as a test, let me ask that same question and we'll see the response that we get back, including the references. So using knowledge, we're now searching that website. This is actually using Bing. It'll be going away, finding the relevant information, and then the large language model will be used to summarize that information and give us a response. And we can see here it's referenced the page on Microsoft Learn. Now, if I jump back across onto our overview and if I delete that knowledge source so that it doesn't know anything about Microsoft Learn, I'll refresh the pane and ask that same question. We would now expect the agent to not be able to answer the question. And we can see here, I'm sorry, I'm not sure I can help you with that. So at this point, we need to add in our tool, our MCP server. And if I come into add a tool and filter by MCP, we can see our Dataverse MCP, which out of the box is natively available as part of Copilot Studio, but our Microsoft Learn MCP is not. We only have the URL. So how do we bring that MCP server into our agent? And of course, this applies to any MCP. 
So when I jump back across onto the documentation, you can see I have the URL for the MCP server highlighted. The other thing to note is Copilot Studio only supports streamable HTTP, and thankfully, this has been built with streamable. So I'll copy that URL, and when I jump back across onto Copilot Studio, I'm actually going to have to go and create a new connector. And I can do that by clicking on New Tool and Custom Connector, which will open up the make.powerapps in the right environment, where we can go ahead and create a new connector. Now, it's relatively straightforward at this point. All we need to do is click on Import from GitHub, use Custom, choose the dev branch, choose the connector for the MCP streamable, and hit Continue. And at this point, we have a pre-configured connector for an MCP server. Now you'll see we have the host URL. I can paste in the URL that I've copied into my clipboard. I do need to remove the forward slash API and MCP and put that into the base URL. And I also need to remove the HTTPS like so. The other thing to do is to give our connector a name. So this is my Microsoft Learn MCP. And at this point, all I need to do is hit Create Connector. So with the connector now created, if I jump back across into Copilot Studio and hit Refresh, we can filter by MCP. And if your newly created MCP connector is not showing, we wait for a bit longer. Or if we refresh the page and click on Add a Tool, again, filtering by Model Context Protocol, you'll see the newly created connector. Now this did take about five minutes for me, so a lot of patients maybe go and grab a cup of tea or coffee. But I'll click on that MCP server, and if you imagine the scenario of adding different actions for a connector, like Dataverse, where you'd have to go and describe all those different actions that you needed, here, all we need to do is create a connection, like so, and add it to our agent. Our agent now has access to the tools of this MCP server, and we can see there is one tool, which you already know, the Microsoft Doc Search, with a description. So because that's in place, if I ask the same question as before, how do I set up SharePoint as a knowledge source in Copilot Studio? It's going to attempt a connection to our MCP server. We need to create our first connection there. So, so I'll select connect and submit. And then when I return back to the test pane and hit retry, we're calling that MCP server. We're asking for knowledge. It's coming back in that same structure that we saw in my emulator. And then that information is sent to the language model and the language model is then able to summarize that response using references based on the data that's come back from the MCP server. So that's given us an example of a RAG pattern using an MCP server that's been built specifically to retrieve knowledge. We're not using knowledge as we know it in Copilot Studio because this is all via our MCP server. Now I'd like to show you how we can add in the Dataverse MCP server which we know that when we went to tools and went to add the tool into the model context protocol filter, it already exists. It is a native MCP server that's available for us to use in our agents. And so here I am now in a brand new agent. It is my Lego stock agent and also quite a good idea for a multi-agent, which I might do in the future. But what I want to demonstrate is how we can use a Dataverse table and the Dataverse MCP to check the stock levels, to increment or decrement the stock levels, to check for a specific set based on age or description, and even create new sets. Now, if I jump down into the test pane and ask the question, what Lego sets do we sell? Our agent can't answer it. And that's because we have no knowledge, we have no tools. And if I jump across into my tools and I add a tool and I go and filter on model context protocol and choose the Dataverse MCP, if I add that to my agent, no further configuration. We've now given our agent all the tools related to the MCP server. And if we just check that, we can see it can list tables, read queries, update records, etc. Lots of different things that this MCP server can do. So maybe if I ask that question again, what Lego sets do we sell? We'll be able to get details of our Lego sets. And of course, create a connection too. So with that in place, we can see that our MCP server gets to work, but I know because I'm in charge of my Power Platform environment that when I search for a Lego table, I don't actually have one. So I don't have any information about stock information and I've caught my agent out. So we really need to work on not only the instructions, but also to create a table to store that data. So why not get started with Copilot? Why don't 
I use a description. I want a table to manage my Lego set inventory and details containing stock levels, name, ID, piece count, theme, age, and release date and description. And we'll go ahead and create that and we'll use Copilot to create us a table. And there we have it. We have a relational database with two tables, one including the theme name as a lookup and the other containing the set inventory. And if I click on the ellipses here, we can view the data and see some of the sample information. So we've got a fire station and a race car, and that'll enable me to start asking questions via my agent. So if I save and exit, so these tables and data are saved to Dataverse. If we just make sure that we have that Lego themed table now created, we can see both the theme and the inventory table has been created. Let's go into the inventory so we can see the stock. And in order to make it easier for our agent to find our table, I'm gonna come into tools and copy the schema name and then jump back across into my agent where I'm going to edit the instructions and where it says the agent helps users manage and explore information about Lego sets, I'll add held in the table. So the Lego set inventory table and save that. If I then start with an easy question, like, can you list me all the Lego sets? We can see that the language model chooses to use the MCP server. And if I have a look at the tool it's used, it's performed a natural language to SQL query with select star from our table, Lego set inventory, returning all five of those Lego sets. If I was then to ask it a question, like, can you get me the Lego sets for age seven? This is where I started to get mixed results. And whilst on this occasion, the agent has worked, I sometimes found it didn't realize what the schema was for our table, which made me ponder, do I go into tools and have a look at the available tools? In which case I could always ask the agent in the description to use the describe table to get the schema for the table. Or alternatively, I could go into the overview, I could update the instructions and actually add in the schema for our agent so that it always knows without having to use additional calls and therefore additional costs. I guess it all depends on your use case. How often are you updating the schema of your table? But if I hit save, I can go on to ask questions like, can you update the stock count of the fire set to 10? And you can see that our agent has successfully updated that stock count to 10. And if I jump back into our table, we can see the stock count is now 10. And then finally, let's go ahead and create a Power Platform themed Lego set. And we can see that our MCP server has correctly created a new set. And if I jump across onto Power Apps and have a look at that table with a quick refresh, that new record has been created. So over the past few weeks, I gave you my musings from the garden, these new acronyms, Agent to Agent, MCP and KUA. We've done MCP today and last week I did KUA. I hope to do an Agent to Agent in the future. If you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.